Hey guys, I'm Gebar Barent, and today I want to speak to you about you don't need to fear death. That's right. Today I want to speak to you about you don't need to fear death. You don't need to fear death. And uh, let's go to the word of the Lord and I'll explain to you. Death was present right in the beginning. The Bible says God said this to Adam and Eve. He said, surely the day you eat, the, the day you eat of that tree, you will surely die. So we see that uh, Satan did not create death. God created death. But death had no power. I'll say it again. Death had no power because sin was not yet present. But when Adam and Eve sinned, death was empowered. So death's power lies in sin. I'll say it again. Death's power lies in sin. But you and I, as Christians, we have got nothing to fear when it comes to death. And I'll show you why. Because Jesus Christ became my sin so that I could become His righteousness. He took my sin. He took my shame. He took my blame. He took my guilt. And He gave me innocence. He gave me righteousness. And now I am the righteousness of God. Are you there? And now let's go a little bit deeper. If death has been destroyed because sin is not present, then I don't have to fear death. You don't need to fear death because we are no longer sinners. We have been born from above and you and I, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 17 and multiple other scriptures, are a new creation. In other words, my nature is holy. I don't have a sinful nature anymore. I need to live out my life in a holy dependency upon the Lord. My whole life is based on dependency on the scriptures and the leadership of the Holy Spirit. But we have no death to fear. Why? And I'll explain it again. Death was present right there in the Garden of Eden. But death had no power. Why? Because sin was not yet present. But when sin became present, death was in power. But now that Jesus Christ took sin, he took sin. Death lost its power. Jesus Christ did not just die for your sin. Jesus Christ died as your sin. He became your sin. God the Father placed all of your sin upon Him. Therefore, so that you could receive His innocence and you could receive His righteousness. Therefore, when Jesus descended into the abyss or descended into hell, He took something. He took the keys of hell, Hades, and the grave, and He destroyed the power of death. How did He destroy the power of death? He that was innocent became guilty. And because He became guilty, He shed His innocent blood so that those that were guilty can become innocent again. This is the beauty of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You and I become Jesus. And Jesus became our sin. Or let me say it like this. Jesus becomes our guilt that you and I can become free. Do you see the beauty of it? So death doesn't have power because you don't have a sinful nature. Now what is left for you is you need to live your life out in fear of God, obeying His word. And the Bible says, whosoever has been born of God cannot sin habitually. In other words, it cannot become a lifestyle of sin. Uh, any Christian that calls themselves a Christian cannot stay in habitual sin. It is impossible. There has to be a shift of nature, which means that you're believing right. And because you're believing right, you are acting right. That's why Paul the Apostle time and time encourage us again that we need to change our minds shift our minds renew our minds Romans chapter number 12 verse number one and two actually said it says renew your mind by the word of the lord so that your life can get transformed our lives friends are transformed by the power of the word of the lord and this is so important so you don't have to fear death because death doesn't have power over you the one that you serve, Jesus the Christ, He has the power of death, hell, hates, and the grave. Well, why hates in hell? Because hell does not exist yet. The place that's currently is a temporary place of torment. Hell is still, or the second lake of fire is still to come. But Jesus is the possessor of all of these keys. In other words, nobody can die for eternal life unless the Lord knows about it. He's got the keys. He has, he's the one greater than death. Therefore, 
grave is uh, death is just a curtain that you're going to pass through that's why paul the apostle says these words he says in the body with the lord out the body with the lord friends you've got nothing to fear jesus is for you hallelujah therefore oh death where is your sting oh death where is your victory it has none because you serve the author of life jesus the christ he is the way he is the truth and he is the life oh i pray you got something out of this today and i want to encourage you I haven't yet done so please follow our youtube channel please hit that bell button please hit that subscription button and become part of our e family online globally as we share the gospel of the lord jesus christ